So this is for second year students who are just coming to the end of component one and our students seem to love checklists so I'm throwing one at you. Over the next two pages it's broke down, put this all on one slide at the very end. I'm not going to talk that much throughout this because I think the work that I've put in as examples of all these stages should kind of speak for itself on the most part. So first of all, I've got three mind maps to show you, different projects, all crammed full of ideas. Then you've got some visual inspiration, but this student's still actually sort of talked in detail about what the visuals are showing. Got a project brief that could be referred to as a statement of intent. And then now I've got some artist research, very detailed, really relevant to each student's project. Ideally they're picking their artists because you've got to pick work that inspires you. Next up, we've got some sketches, real easy marks to accrue, and it's not got to be photorealistic. You can do it with a drawing tablet if you like, as long as it still looks like something that's not a final piece. You know, it is good digital drawing is that, but it, it's clearly not like a 10, 15 hour illustration. It's still quite quick and it is an initial idea at least. Same for these, some quick thumbnails, but done digitally, really nice. Then we've got gathering primary sources. So photography, going out and doing a photo shoot that's relevant to your project. Speak to your teachers. If you've got no ideas for that, there's always something you can go and photograph unless you were doing a project based on the solar system. And even then, I think there's the stuff you could actually photograph for that without going to Mars. This phase here is just to show you some ideas for how you can experiment within graphics. Remember, it's an art-based subject, so it's not just showing variations of digital designs. It can be all sorts of other things. A lot of students, they are going to put different variations and designs as they develop, and that still does class as experimenting. But just think about what else is appropriate for your project. This next phase is a little bit misleading because some of them say final design. This isn't their final pieces. It's students who are working through development ideas and they're refining what they're doing. I actually ask them to call them final outcomes. It's clear when you look at the whole portfolio that it's not the very end, but it just shows that that's the final outcome for that section of work. So there's a checklist. I hate being asked how many artists do I need? How many designs do I need? How many sketches? How many photographs? Blah, blah, blah. But I do realize some of you need a checklist. I personally would want to see a bit of a checklist. Now, everything on here really is a request as a minimum requirement. If you're thinking, right, I've got six artists before I even started and you've only asked us for three and then six in total. Bear in mind, if you're a student who's aiming for an A star or an A, a checklist really should just be there as a bit of a backup just to check you've not missed anything key off. You're going to be going above and beyond this checklist. This is more for students who do need a bit of structure, being told they can pick whatever theme and then going off for multiple weeks, if not months at a time, and then handing a load of work in. I don't know. Most students, like I say, including me, would want to see a little bit of a checklist like here are some expectations of a project. So there it is. Catch you in the next one in a bit.